I got her all the good music there was in the world, yes sir. I bought her a Victor Vic Crowley. Say, Mom and me decided that if we wanted to be right in style, we'd better get one of these here Hail Columbia Happy Land talking machines. Hi everybody. I'm sorry it's been a couple of months since I posted a video, but here I am again. For today's video, I wanted to feature one of two, maybe I have three of these, uh, early suitcase Edison home phonographs. Uh, you can see one off in the distance there. We'll look at that in a little while. It's got a one of my early funnel horns on it. But the one we're going to feature in this video is right here. Uh, these, of course, this, this player, this phonograph, uh, dates from probably 1898 uh, because of the serial number, which I'm going to show you in a minute. You can see there's four latches. The Edison home phonograph, unlike the standard phonograph, only came, the earliest, only came with the four latch uh, suitcase type uh, fasteners. And the, uh, the Edison standards, of course, the earliest had the just two, one on either end here. This one here has the early uh, crank that has the the plate the silver plate on it you can see there very short stubby crank it cranks very close to the cabinet as you can see I'm going to take the uh, top off here and I'll show you the amazing condition this is completely original I got this uh, from an estate auction many years ago uh, but look at the condition of this thing it's just fantastic. I was stunned when I saw it at the auction. My guess, it had a broken spring when I uh, when it was offered at auction when I purchased it. So I'm assuming that the spring broke early on before the poor owner got to use it very much and they just said to heck with it. Well, you know, we're not going to fix it and they put it away. Uh, this is has a fairly early serial number 4461 and it has the plate on the front that you only see with the earliest uh, Edison cylinder phonographs but the condition was outstanding it has the brass mandrel as you can see here only the earliest Edison cylinder phonographs had the all brass mandrel. And uh, it came with an automatic reproducer, which I didn't like the way that it played, so I replaced it with one of my Model B reproducers. You can see it has the, the, uh, the adjustment lever here. And the there's the stylus and the Salus bar. So that's the one we're going to play in a little while and I'm going to treat you to a really really early Columbia brown wax cylinder by Russell Hunting. Uh, but first I'm going to show you the other one back here. I'm going to step around my camera here and hope I don't break my neck getting here. This is the other uh, one. You can see that uh, I haven't Put the handle back on it. I took the handle off, but uh, a couple of reproducers that I just had spare hanging around here. This one also has the brass mandrel. This one has the automatic that goes on. Actually, no. This one, this one came with an automatic also. This one is this one I really haven't done anything with, but it does work. This is. 6577 so it's another early it's not quite as early as the one we just looked at but it's still pretty early condition yeah 
it's it's well loved and well played not like the other one that we just looked at but still a decent early brass mandrel Edison suitcase home phonograph you can see it's got the uh, the funnel horn I've got a couple of these in the collection this is an original funnel horn okay that's pretty much it and this has a uh, just a short stubby a uh, little bit later uh, crank okay so that is that one so when we come back let me just step back here and make my way around this tripod there we are and when we come back we are going to play this 1898 Edison Home Model A. Okay? See you in a few. Hi everybody. As promised, we're back with an extremely early brown wax cylinder from my collection. This one is going to be Michael Casey departing from New York en route to Boston by steamboat. A selection by Russell Hunting for the Columbia Phonograph Company of New York and Paris. So that is pretty much what you're going to hear. The Michael, you'll hear, I think this is announced by Russell Hunting himself, um, but the Michael in the announcement is a little bit distorted. Uh, but the rest of the cylinder is amazing, absolutely amazing uh, for uh, such an early cylinder. And mind you, I want to show you before the audio uh, portion plays, I want to show you how slow this cylinder plays. I think I've got it turned down to about maybe 100 RPM. Incredible, incredibly slow for a Bromwax cylinder. Most Bromwax cylinders, early Bromwax cylinders, play from 125 RPM you know to say 140 rpm uh, but this one plays extremely well at a very slow rpm like i said maybe 100 rpm i didn't time it but it plays really well at a very slow rotation so here we go my uh russell hunting is michael casey extremely early brown wax cylinder for my collection i hope you enjoy it Let's turn it on here. Look how slow the pulley's turning. That is a slow turning cylinder. Here we go. Hope you enjoy it. Going ashore. Got to look at them pulling the flag. 
Daar zit traan in de heer. Op Sigurd is te zijn. De koker is away, Mike. Op Sigurd. Out the way, please. Op Sigurd. Oh, my right hand, my head cock. What do you want, eh? Is the whole boat to your seat? Er, can I help it if me see to speak what I give you? Put your feet in your pocket, Casey. That's not funny, what seven daily. <laughs> There you go. Russell Hunting is Michael Casey and uh, played on my early 1898 Edison Home Model A suitcase phonograph. Hope you enjoyed it folks. <laughs>